Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jamrel, and I make YouTube videos, store memories, and bring value to people like you worldwide. Enjoy! For today's video, I'll be talking about the top 5 struggles of living here in Thailand as a Filipino. Now you may have your own reason for wanting to come here to Thailand. It could be that you're just curious, you want to discover um, what it's like to live in a foreign country, or you might want to find work here. Other opportunities, but whatever they are, there will always be advantages and disadvantages. And for someone like me who's lived here for almost 10 years, I can tell you that there really are and there will be struggles of living here in Thailand as a foreigner. And I'll be telling you my top 5 ones in today's video. So let's get right into it. Struggle number one of living in Thailand as a Filipino is the language barrier. So for me as a Filipino, our language is different. It's more, um, it is a mixture of English and Spanish. And so we use the English alphabet um, when we're writing and everything else, we have English signs. Here in Thailand, it's completely different and it's an entirely different experience because the language here is pretty similar to Mandarin in that they have different tones. And so if you get a tone wrong, then the word and the sentence is wrong. So let me give you an example. In Thailand, there are five tones. And let's say the word gai. Gai means chicken. And so gai is, you know, let's say gai is the normal word. And so they have five tones. The normal tone, the low tone, the high tone, the um, there is the half question mark tone and the question mark tone. So let's say guy, 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 guy. So there's that, and if you get a word wrong, then the whole sentence is wrong as well. And another struggle with when it comes to language barrier here in Thailand is that they're not as exposed to English as we are Filipinos, and so. If you're ordering stuff or you're asking for directions, um, there could be miscommunication. And for me, it was very frustrating when I ordered food and, um, you know, since, since I don't understand the writing, I just basically point to the pictures, I want this, I want that. And there are some foods that, of course, I don't, I don't know what those are and sometimes they're too spicy for my taste. So yeah, there will be some misunderstanding if you're gonna live here without a translator, if you're gonna live in a place where um, there are not as many tourists, so the, the ties and the people are not as exposed to the English language. And I guess the best way that I dealt with this, since it's not my country, I learned Thai, so I had to practice speaking at least the basics. I also learned to at least read some of the characters. And if you're here as well, if you're planning to come here to Thailand, I highly suggest that you learn some basic Thai words. Um, even something as simple as learning to say hi, uh, greet, ha, those things, say thank you, ha, or ask where the toilet is, how much this is, any Thai, I'm not sure if I got the tone right, but yeah. Just like with going to any other country, at least learn to, to speak or to say their basic words so if you get lost, then mm, at least you'll know how to get back. Or at least, you know, basic communication is key. The second struggle that I had as a Filipino here in Thailand is the culture shock. So of course, us Filipinos, I grew up in Bohol, so I am Bulanon. Um, I'm used to hearing church bells every Sunday because in the Philippines, um, where majority of the people are Christians, and it's, it's very normal for us to go to church, to hear Filipino music, and I guess just have Filipino things where um, when we greet elders, um, we do the manupo, so we put um, the elders, we take the elders' hands and we uh, press it to our foreheads. Here in Thailand, they do the Y. So, Y. Basically, just bowing and putting their hands together and bowing. Another thing that really shocked me here in Thailand, or and that I had to learn, um, and I already knew this because my parents told me, was that 
here in Thailand you cannot say anything negative about the royal family so here they highly respect their kings and their queens and the royal family so you can't say anything bad and if you do you're going to jail it's in their laws you cannot say anything bad about the royal family another one here in Thailand is that they consider the head as the highest and most important part of the body and the feet as the lowest what that means is that you can't point with your toes they really respect the royal family you won't you are not allowed to step on their money because here let me show you this is the Thai ten baht I don't know if it's um, focusing I don't know how those beauty vloggers do it okay this is ten baht and it has the face of the king this one is five baht it also has it has the head and the face of the king as well let me show you their bills so this is this is a hundred baht it also has the face and the head of the current king king rama 10 50 baht has the face of the king another 120 baht as well and 1000 baht this is the um, previous king king rama 9 um, he passed away and so the crown prince is now the king of thailand so as you can see all of their bills have the the money basically has the faces and the heads of the king so you can't step on money so even if the coin is rolling away you're gonna have to chase after it do not step on it or people are gonna look at you like they're going to look at you in disgust and yeah it's very disrespectful for them so here in Thailand if you come here I highly suggest you look into you know do a little bit of googling do a bit of research understand their cultural norms what is allowed and what's not allowed here so at least you don't break any rules another struggle that i had here in thailand um, as a filipino is the spicy food so here most of the food is spicy and if when i first came here when i was 10 years old so of course i struggled with it because in, in the philippines our food does not have a lot of spices in, the, in them. We have lechon, we have adobo, lumpia, palabok, and these foods typically don't have chili in anything spicy. But here in Thailand, spicy food is normal. In some street foods, they actually cook the food in front of you, and in there, in some um, meals, in some dishes, they typically just grab a handful of chilies just put that in a mortal and mortar and pestle and just pound the spices together until it mixes into this really rich spicy flavor and so that for them is just typical normal spicy and if you want food that is not as spicy and you tell them my pit meaning not spicy they will just grab maybe three to five chilies put that in the mortar and pestle and just grind that there and for me before i was 10 years old that is still very spicy for me because I was not used to having any chili at all. So if you're coming here to Thailand and you want food that is totally not spicy, you're gonna have to tell them my side pre meaning do not add chili. They're probably gonna look at you like my pet my alloy. But you're just gonna be like mm. you're gonna have to assert, yeah, no chili please. Because you're gonna be the one who's eating it anyways. So yeah, spicy food here in Thailand, that's normal. It was a struggle for me and Basically, the way I dealt with was try not to eat spicy food, but at the end of the day, he will be eating spicy food. So over time, I increased my spice tolerance. And for you, I highly suggest you do that as well, especially if you're the type of person who wants to travel the world. Food is an entirely different experience, and each country has their own food, and it really is integrated in their culture, especially if you go to countries like India and the Middle East um, I'm looking forward I would like to go to those countries as well I've heard that their spices are very rich and yeah I want to experience that and I don't want to be held back because I am not able to tolerate spices so yeah just you'll get used to spicy food over time the fourth struggle that I had here in Thailand as a Filipino is loneliness so it's normal when you come to another country and you don't understand the people and you don't understand the culture 
chances are you're gonna be yeah you're gonna be lonely because you can't really connect to them and for me as a 10 year old kid who moved to Thailand from the Philippines who had to study in a Thai school I just wanted friends <laughs> and it was very difficult to have those because of course they don't speak my language their sense of humor is different their jokes are different the games that they play are different the music and the movies that they watch are different and I had to adjust to that and the best way that I really that I did that that I adjusted was just to make friends so yes it gets lonely and really there's not much you can do because you're in another country yes you can video call your friends and family but then that can only get you so far you're gonna want real human interaction and I highly suggest you know just go out there if you have um, people in your workplace or at school just talk to them chances are they want to get to know you too and they also they probably want to get to know you but are also just as shy to go up to you and say hi so go out there and make the first move The last struggle that I had as a Filipino here in Thailand, the fifth one is homesickness. So this is, oh god, this is the worst struggle that I had here in Thailand, homesickness, because really there's not much you can do. You're in another country, the culture is different, the music, the shows, the people are different. And so what my parents did, our family did, was we found a, you know, we looked for and we found a Fil com Filipino community here in Thailand. So if you're Filipino, I have a tip for you. <laughs> Filipinos were known, or if you're Christian, were known to go to church every Sunday. So if you go to a Christian or a Catholic church and you find an English mass, chances are you will find Filipinos there. And for us, it was like that. We found Filipinos who introduced us to um, Filipino uh, Christian community here called uh, it used to be called couples for Christ and now it's called missionary families for uh, for Christ sorry mom I forgot the name but yeah I was part of um, that group our family was and what's good about that is that we have there were lots of Filipinos who were like us who moved to Thailand for work who have kids with them and so me as a 10 year old I had Filipino friends who could understand and empathize you know who could relate to being in another country that's not yours so yeah those are my struggles of living here in Thailand as a Filipino honestly uh, those years were difficult for me like the first I don't know three to five years of living in Thailand and not knowing anything and being a kid and just wanting to make friends but can't those were difficult but then honestly I don't regret it uh, it it taught me a lot of things it helped bring me out of my comfort zone and it, there's just something really different about living in another country that does not speak your language you kind of just see how insignificant you are if that makes any sense and significant you are in this world and it just humbles you you know I was really humbled and made me say I'm not the only person in this world and that you know there are people out there who will probably just walk past and not care about me and that it's a very humbling experience not being in my own country having to follow rules and having to carry myself in a way that is respectful and responsible because my parents are currently working here in Thailand as teachers and they started working here. They still are teachers and when I was a kid, I understood and I was taught that if I did something wrong and it affected them, there was a chance that we could get deported and be sent back to the Philippines and we couldn't afford that because um, before that time, salaries for teachers in the Philippines was very low and we had a lot of debt so we had to go to another country where salary was much higher so we could have a better uh, quality of living and my parents could help pay off the debts and so yeah it really helped me out and now when I meet other people other nationalities I am now more confident and I'm not as scared and yeah I can empathize more with them with people who are in different places because I was that person before and I understand the struggles. 
So yeah, those are the five struggles of living here in Thailand as a Filipino. If you guys have any questions or if you have your experience as well of being a foreigner in a country, let me know in the comments below. I love reading your comments and I will try my best to answer and reply. Also, if you found great value in this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. That really helps me out and it helps the YouTube algorithm know which videos are valuable and it actually pushes this video and shows it to people who also want to learn more. And my goal and my aim in this video is to help people, as many people as, as I can. So thank you so much and if you want to see a video about what it's like working in Thailand as a Filipino, my sister and I collaborated and we have a video about that. She's currently an English teacher here in Thailand, a business English teacher and she also talks about the different work opportunities here in Thailand for Filipinos. If you're interested in that, please click this video over here. I'll put it in this space. And yeah, I hope I'll get to see you guys there in that video. Please don't forget to click this video. Bye!